In this other example, I'd like to focus your attention on something that we call reverse IK. That means what happens when you pull and push an element that is on the other side of the IK chain. Let me just uh, switch the coloring on again. If I interact with the controller, the red is the IK chain and then the foot is beyond the IK chain. If I pull the torso, we are pulling and pushing on the other side of the IK chain and now the effectors work as pins. I'll switch the coloring off so that we can see better and explain the reverse IK actions. If we use Kineflex without any modifiers, we rotate from the edge point of the element and we have the pins. You can see there's a pin here for the head and the head interacts with this pin. If I hold down shift and drag we move this element and the chains work as IK chains against that pin. So by holding down and releasing shift, I can very interactively pose my character. If you notice these two are switched into the state when they become transparent to the reverse IK. If I alt click them with the Kineflex tool, now they will act as pins as well. If I switch this one to the other state, it is transparent, but it is still an IK controller. So it's just another one of those demonstrations, but I wanted to just accentuate on another function. And this is what happens to the elements that are beyond the effectors when you hold down Alt and Shift. Now this is, I'm holding down Shift and I'm moving the element beyond the IK chains Pay attention to the feet. Now I will hold down ALT. Now the feet lock the way they would if you drag the controller with ALT down. So if you hold down ALT, the feet are fixed to the lower legs. If I release ALT and drag, which shift down, you can see that the feet become softly rotated. And if I hold down Alt again, they get locked. Same thing happens to the hands, but it's not as obvious because they're tiny in this case. And this is without any modifiers. If I hold down Alt, there will be slight movement in the feet and this is the example with the pin here so it looks somehow very very natural there's extra movement there and if you push it's almost as pre pre animated but that's all in real time 